Yep, I would say that's looking pretty good. Now, time to get the ragdolls up there. It's actually the first time I've done anything like this in Hard Bullet. But anyway, we have our first test subject. Welcome back to Hard Bullet VR. <laughs> oh, no. Now, before I jump into this video right here, I'm going to see once again if I can complete this parkour course and beat my previous time of 48 seconds. All right, and this guy right here, he's going to be cheering me on. Here we go. The timer starts as soon as I touch this thing here. So 48 seconds, time to beat. Doesn't matter how I get over there. As long as I get to that platform, the time stops. All right, three, two, one. Now, here we go. Okay, 48 seconds. I mean, that's not too quick. Okay, I feel like I'm going really slow so far. And the, uh, the other funny thing is, I won't know if I've beaten my time until this video is released. Oh, but look at those skills. That's right. I'm just jumping across. I don't even care anymore. Oh, yes. I feel like this is cheating a little bit. But like I said, it doesn't matter how we get there. Okay, uh, you know what? Different technique to last time. Climb across this. Oh, yes. That is so much quicker, actually. And stop the timer! Okay. <laughs> So right now you're either hearing people clapping and cheering or booing, but that's my time right there. I don't know if it's good until this video's up. But anyway, also in the last video, I checked out the new armor, which came out in a previous update, but I realized something. I never really tried any blunt weapons on it. So in the name of science, let's get a blunt weapon and see how much it protects him. Now, what do we want to use? I'm thinking maybe, maybe a baseball bat. Oh yes. All right. Let's see how well does the armor protect him with a baseball bat. <laughs> I kind of missed. All right, helmet first. Okay, it doesn't seem too well. Let's try his body. <clears throat> you know what? I don't think it actually helps him at all. I mean, bullets, you know, it's completely fine. To some degree, anyway. See? It's okay. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, you know what? Stay there, buddy. I'm going to try another weapon. Let's see. What do we want? Hmm. Let's go for a pool cue, shall we? All right, buddy. <clears throat> that seems a little bit better. Yeah, he's completely fine. I actually really love the fact that in Hard Bullet, you have armor now. That's actually really useful. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah I got him down, finally. Oh, but he's getting back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Anyway, I think we've used you enough, but I've had another idea. Now, I've gone ahead and gone on the physical objects map, and, uh, well, I've never tried this before, but I'm going to put a ragdoll all the way at the top there and then tip this over to see what happens. Also, this guy is here, so it means that when the box is full, he might get crushed a little bit. Isn't that right? Oops. Okay, but how do I get a ragdoll up there? Do I just climb it carefully? All right, you know what? I don't think I've even actually been at the top of this before. Okay, nice and easy now. Oh, this is cool okay oh, oh it's kind of awkward to jump up okay this might not work but don't worry i don't think we actually need to climb up there all right so then just uh but where's where's the ragdoll ragdoll aha i got it oh man this is gonna be cool i really hope this works hey buddy <laughs> he's facing backwards as well so it's gonna fall down that way okay dude good luck all right <laughs> okay, I really hope this works. Now, for some reason, when you push the boxes here, it's quite difficult to do. Oh, hang on a minute, it's actually working. Oh, usually I can't push it. Okay, it looks like he's staying in one position though. All right, here we go. Oh no, he's just staying there. No! Okay, this is bad. <laughs> All right, let's just push it. Come on! Okay, it's quite difficult actually. So instead, if we just grab this table, I know this is going to look a little weird, but it should actually help me push those crates. All right, here we go. Yeah! Oh, there we go. I got it. Come on. Yes. Oh, down it goes. Um, well, we got that guy, but this one's floating. Oh, wow. I found a bug in Hard Bullet. I had no idea that happened. Dude, get down here. Come on. All right. How do we get him down? Hmm. Right. That's it. <laughs> okay. You know what? I will get this guy down eventually. Have this. Yeah. Eh. Uh. Why is it so hard to throw in this game? Right. There's no way this is working, but I got a pitchfork here. Oh, that was the closest yet. Let's give this another go, shall we? Slow motion. Yeah. Oh, we hear him. I thought it would come back down, though. All right, we got this. Here we go. Oh, I got him in the knee. No, but seriously, how do we actually get this guy down? Just get down here. Oh, sorry. What the? That's a weird way to catch a pitchfork. Is that... Is that a shadow? Looks really weird. Anyway, because of the new update, well, the last one, of course, we can now jump off the wall. And then, oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, that is amazing. Of course, the new wall jump feature. 
That's how we get to him with ease. All right, here we go. Trying again. Yes. I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Still not down though. But don't worry. I'm a man with a plan. And also, the guy behind me is breathing very heavy. So, um, sorry about this, buddy. I think he might still be alive because of his helmet. Just, just a couple more shots just to, you know, just knock him out a little bit. Man, this armor is overpowered. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, just, just go down, please. Go, go down, please. Come on. Got him. Anyway, the reason I actually have the- How's he getting up? So the reason I have this pistol here is because I still want to take down this guy with a pitchfork. And let's face it, me throwing it isn't really working out too well. So I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to create a custom magazine for it. So bullet speed, let's go with five. I'm going to, uh, let's, let's stick to original pitchfork size. And there we go. The mag has now been created. And here we go. Oh, uh, does it work? Oh, yes. Perfect. And now no throwing is necessary. All right, buddy, get down now. Now! Oh, yes. It's a little bit awkward to aim with this thing. Uh, come on! <laughs> oh no. See, look, I can aim literally right at him. Oh, yes! <laughs> it worked! We got him down! Finally! But yeah, the aim is a little bit off with the uh, pitchforks here. Although, it seems a lot better now, which is weird. Anyway, we did it. We got him down. Success. Yeah. Anyway, new scene. Time for a bit of a cleanup. Right this way, buddy. That's it. There we go. Ooh, what the? Now, I've had a bit of an idea with this punching bag here. So if I grab the welding tool and then also grab maybe, let's go for this one, a knife. And then can we weld the knife to this? Oh, <gasps> yes, we can. That is amazing. So that means we just need a few more of these and then attach it to the boxing bag, punching bag thing. Yep, that's probably a bit too many knives, actually. But just while I'm doing this, 79.7% .7 of you watching my videos are not actually subscribed. So make sure you click that subscribe button to see all of my latest videos. And boop. Oh man, this is going to be so cool when it's done. And just like that, I am now done. So this shouldn't affect me. I can walk into it, I can punch it, and I'll be completely fine. But you know who won't be fine? The ragdolls. Well, actually, they will be fine because they don't have feelings anyway, you know. And this is all for science and experiments, you know, so it's it's fine. Anyway, uh, this guy has armor on, so he actually might be okay. But here we go. Well, it's, yeah, sort of okay, right? Oh, be careful. Oh, we got back up. Hang on a minute. If I just... <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. That is really cool. This is why I love the new weld tool. I say new, it's been out for a long time now, but seriously, this thing is epic. It means we can do so much more. Can I just weld this to him? Yep. Don't know why, but you can. <laughs> okay, that's heavy now. And now we have a new test subject. Okay, buddy, this way, let's go. <laughs> I'm hoping I can just go ahead and throw him onto the punching bag. <laughs> no. Okay, let's try this again. One. Two, three. Oh dear. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and maybe push a little bit. Oh, I didn't even mean to go in slow motion, but that worked pretty well. I think he's okay. He's fine. Right, so my custom punching bag here is pretty cool, but I think it's time we make some new contraptions. So let's make a start on that. You know what? Actually, a good starting place would be that table right there. So hear me out. We all like a bit of wrestling, right? But what if we go a little bit more extreme than just the table? So I'm kind of thinking, add some weapons on top of it and then throw some ragdolls off here onto the table. That is going to be amazing. So let's grab the weld tool. Here we are. And let's go for these, shall we? And let's just spread them out all over the table. Also, the table, it kind of flops around a lot. Maybe we should attach it to the ground if that's possible. No, okay, you know what? Forget it, doesn't matter. Right, we're gonna need a lot of these knives here. So let's go to melee and let's go find some more. Is it this one? Is it, uh, it's different, but you know, could also work. Yeah, screw it. This will be the only one of that kind, but that's fine. Right, and here we go again. Extreme wrestling. I mean, wrestling is already extreme, but this is gonna be oh, my hand. Ah! Okay. Well, great. Thanks a lot, hard bullet. Ah, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, at least got my hand out. Yep, I would say that's looking pretty good. Now, time to get the ragdolls up there. It's actually the first time I've done anything like this in Hard Bullet. But anyway, we have our first test subject. Activate slow motion, and then off the top ropes. Oh, it works! Kind of. 
I was a little bit off. Anyway, oh geez, this guy's in a bad way. Right, first test was a success. Well, let's move on, give it another shot. Okay, I got this. Just a little throw. Oh, yes, right onto the table, field of knives. <laughs> that is amazing. All right, let's see if I can kick him. Yeah, hey, kind of. So yeah, that is pretty awesome. You know, actually this should be fine. He should be able to lay on this with no issues because the weight is, you know, of course, distributed across. Mm. Though we don't actually have um, enough knives to do that, but I think you'll know what I'm talking about. Now I've had a pretty awesome idea. It's a little bit weird, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in this couch right here. In fact, you know what, let's get a few more maybe. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and, well, put a weapon there and make the ragdoll sit on it. <gasps> My most evil invention yet. So I reckon this one should do the trick. Let's hope this actually works. Okay, let's put it right there. Perfect. Okay, dude. It's time to see if this works. Right, here we go. There's the couch. There's the weapon. <laughs> and here is our ragdoll test subject. Okay. And here we go. Well, he's, he's fine. Oh, he put his hand in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, okay, we need to position this a little bit better. All right, uh, just sit. But anyway, on that note, there's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!